The Lusatian culture existed in the later Bronze Age and early Iron Age 1300 BC to 500 BC in most of today's Poland and parts of the Czech Republic, Slovakia, Eastern Germany, and Western Ukraine. It covers the periods Montelius III early Lusatian culture to V of the Northern European chronological scheme. There were close contacts with the Nordic Bronze Age. Hallstatt and La Tène influences can also be seen particularly in ornaments fibulae, pins, and weapons. Origins The Lusatian culture developed as the preceding Triceniac culture experienced influences from the Middle Bronze Age Tumulus Bronze Age, essentially incorporating the local communities into the socio-political network of Iron Age Europe. It forms part of the Urnfield systems found from eastern France, southern Germany and Austria to Hungary and the Nordic Bronze Age in northwestern Germany and Scandinavia. It is followed by the early Iron Age Billendorf culture in the west. In Poland, the Lusatian culture is taken to span part of the Iron Age as well there is only a terminological difference and is succeeded in Montelius VIIBC in northern ranges around the mouth of Vistula by the Pomeranian culture spreading south. Lusatian-type burials were first described by the German pathologist and archaeologist Rudolf Virchow 1821-1902. The name refers to the Lusatia area in eastern Germany Brandenburg and Saxony and Poland. Virchow identified the pottery artifacts as pre-Germanic but refused to speculate on the ethnic identity of their makers. The Polish archaeologist Józef Kostrzewski, who starting in 1934 conducted extensive excavations of a Lusatian settlement of Biskupin, hypothesized that the Lusatian culture was a predecessor of later cultures which belonged to the early Slavs. Modern archaeologists, such as Kazimierz Godlowski and Peter Kaczynowski, hold the view that at that time, the ethnic geography of Bronze Age Central Europe included peoples whose languages and ethnic identity we simply do not know. Culture Burial was by cremation, inhumations are rare. The urn is usually accompanied by numerous up to 40 secondary vessels. Metal grave gifts are sparse, but there are numerous hordes e Kapaniwo, Pomerania, that contain rich metalwork, both bronze and gold hoard of Eberswald, Brandenburg. Graves containing molds, like at Batown, Saxony or Tuyers attest to the production of bronze tools and weapons at the village level. The Royal Tomb of Sedin, Brandenburg, Germany, covered by a large earthen barrow, contained Mediterranean imports like bronze vessels and glass beads. Cemeteries can be quite large and contain thousands of graves. Well-known settlements include Biskupen in Poland, and Buk near Berlin. There are both open villages and fortified settlements on hilltops or in swampy areas. The ramparts were constructed of wooden boxes filled with soil or stones. The economy was mainly based on arable agriculture, as is attested by numerous storage pits. Wheat and six-row barley formed the basic crops, together with millet, rye and oats, peas, broad beans, lentils, and gold of pleasure Camelina sativa. Flax was grown, and remains of domesticated apples, pears, and plums have been found. Cattle and pigs were the most important domestic animals, followed by sheep, goats, horses, and dogs. Pictures on Iron Age urns from Silesia attest horse riding, but horses were used to draw chariots as well. Hunting was practiced, as bones of red and roe deer, boar, bison, elk, hare, fox, and wolf attest, but did not provide much of the meat consumed. The numerous frog bones found at Biskupin may indicate that frogs' legs were eaten as well. Hordes in swampy areas are considered by some archaeologists Hansel as gifts for the gods. Human bones in five meters deep sacrificial pits in Lasso Brandenburg might point to human sacrifice and possible ritual cannibalism. See also Lusatia References Further reading J. M. Coles and A. F. Harding, The Bronze Age in Europe London 1979 Dabrowski, J. Nordisch Kreis und Kulturen Polnischer Gebiete. Die Bronzezeit im Ostsiegebiet. Ein Rapport der KGL. 
Schwedischen Akademie der Literatur Geschichte und Altertumsforschung über das Julita Symposium 1986. Ed Ambrosiani, B. Kungel. Witterhes Historie auch Antikvites Akademen. Konferenzer 22. Stockholm. Topic. External links Hypothetical reconstruction of a Lusatian culture settlement, raised using only Bronze Age tools, Wola Radzizowska near Krakow, Poland.